So if you're watching this, you're probably, like me, in the market potentially for a metal fab. Now, I first saw them about two weeks ago, something like that, and there are 10, 20, 50 good videos online already. But the fundamental difference, for me at least, was nearly all of those are by somebody that's either received a machine free of charge or heavily discounted or not got a machine just been to a demo demo day um so i thought i'd make this quick video <coughs> i don't like showing my face on camera and you definitely don't want to see that um at the minute it's just temporary set up the machine to be honest i didn't even know if i was going to keep it so i'd have to pay four percent or something to send it back but i figured that's a reasonable sum of money if it doesn't work out. I can tell you, unless it breaks imminently, uh, I definitely will keep it because I've only tried two materials, 3 mil aluminium and 6 mil mild steel plate, which is what we've got on the bed here. But both of those, it's performed very well and pretty quickly. I'm a complete novice. I say complete novice. I have had a CNC plasma table before, uh, but I didn't particularly get on that well with it. Uh, CNC milling machine, CNC lathes, but I am a complete amateur, I am not a machinist, I am not a programmer um, as part of my day job and I'm not trained. So take everything I say with a pinch of salt, but if you're making this video because all the videos online, not much is of people cutting thick material or anything more than a couple of mil really, and that's what I was interested in. So don't judge these cuts because some of them were just test settings, although to be honest, they are recommended settings from Xtool or the closest I could find to a recommended setting. I do understand I'm quite an early adopter. Um, overall, this machine, it went together well. I did have a little trouble with the drawer not closing initially. And I couldn't see if these side plates were left or right. If they are left and right, I still can't see it on them. But I did swap them left to right because one thing I did notice with the machine there's some little witness marks as to where it's been, at least looks like, pre-assembled in the factory, then stripped down, boxed up. The unboxing process, there's millions of people showing that. As I say, most of them showing that are early adopters, probably heavily discounted. I am a full paying customer. I've got zero subscribers. In fact, this will be on a new channel. Um, and yeah, I've just paid full price. Bought the machine, but I am happy. Uh, it definitely needs a bit of work here and there, which I'm sure Xtool will be on. Um, overall though, went together well, um, check the fit of the sides is all I would say when you get your machine, because mine definitely fitted better one way than the other, um, obviously not, not trying them both ways, I didn't do that until today, so I took them back off again today, took the back back off, put the sides on and uh, it went together better and the drawer now stays closed. Uh, small things to note before I go on to the cutting because I don't want this video to be too long and you're probably bored of hearing my voice already is I've used a fire blanket in the bottom of it which probably is not the right thing to do. Um, I'm going to move the machine over the next couple of days and I just didn't want a draw fill of sand to be honest so I thought I'd put a fire blanket in. Um, it's actually a fire blanket and some exhaust packing material under that so it's plenty thick enough. Um, it just doesn't look like it's faring very well. Obviously this laser is very powerful. So what I'll do now is I'll jump on to um, showing you these test cuts. So it's been a little bit of a learning curve with the uh, six mil mild steel. Dial settings in a bit, hopefully this works for good. It's not a good sign, it didn't, oh it did drop out. Here's the nesting feature. Got the air pressure set to 1.4 bar, 1.2 mil nozzle instead of the uh, 1 mil, and oxygen extension tube, obviously. Flow of oxygen is very low anyway. Get the parts. Fire blanket, probably in well. That's not very good. You're doing numerous parts. One hold on to the next. 
it all slide off one part onto the next one. So what? This is the most recent. 22 millimeters a minute, not very good on that corner to be honest. Very little slag. These ones, the worst bit of it really is the slag from cutting the part above. So it's day number two of getting the machine, received it yesterday, yesterday evening, did a few test cuts on aluminium. <coughs> First day today using oxygen and 6mm carbon steel, mild steel, S275 for people in the UK. So these are my first test cuts, I think I went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, um, obviously varying degrees of success there. These all started so, so this was recommended settings, um, slowed it down, slowed it down further, but pretty bad on dross to be fair, I think I had to knock these ones out. <coughs> um, I'm using the, well I was using the one mil nozzle, I've now gone to the 1.2 settings is just over five but to be honest i don't know what that really does <laughs> i'm doing a capacitive touch each time especially while i'm just testing um so i dialed the settings in here and what main difference was um i've actually started speeding back up a bit here i'm about 18 millimeters per second um i started off 25 i think there wasn't actually a recommended setting for um six mil plate but for five mil a quarter inch just under um there there was i just slowed it down by 20 percent when i got to here i turned the air pressure up so i'm using oxygen to cut the flow rate is incredibly low um flow rate is probably less about 10 uh 10 to 12 liters a minute um so i've turned the pressure up to about 1.5 bar which is double or 22 psi double the recommended settings um but it seems to be better. I nested these ones, these four here. So these actually all cut as one. They all dropped out of the plate. I'll show the actual parts now. Excuse the uh, the mess, because I'm moving everything around. So this was one of the first cuts what actually dropped out. See quite a lot of dross, and that dross, it, sorry, just using an iPhone. So that dross um, is really hard to remove. All I've used actually is one of the stainless steel uh, tokens what they give you to weld in the kit and just scraped off a little bit see the settings are starting to get better in some of these but you'll see at the bottom end pretty bad on the straight for some reason i think that was probably going too slow but i have no idea what i'm doing with laser so i'm mainly doing this video here to show the capacity because i was really worried this is the six mil plate i'm hoping to cut eight with it um i know it'll do the thinner stuff because i've seen loads of videos of that but not many people cut the thicker stuff and that's what was important to me um, as we move down these these are more or less in chronological order apart from obviously the last four because they were uh, a nest some of them though like this one pretty bad really in this part but overall probably acceptable for a mild steel non-decorative that edge on the straight really really good um, that edge is pretty good that discoloration is just something to do with the oxygen there is a bit of a weird curve in that. These are the last four. These are the, definitely the best. So this is 1.2 mil nozzle, 1.45 bar, or about 22 psi, oxygen pressure. Um, obviously the double nozzle, the extended one. Just over five on the height, but like I said, I'd love to know what that setting is. I haven't really played around with that much. Um, not too bad, all good actually, I would say, apart from this weird wiggly line there in that corner um feedback to x tool would probably be maybe do some type of speed up slow down on the corners i think i've had that before on a cnc plasma treat me as a complete novice um i have had cnc lathe um a quite bad curve on that straight actually there 
So I've had a CNC lathe years ago, haven't got one now. I have got a CNC mill, um, but I don't really have time to mess around programming, doing too much. So this type of machine works perfect where you're just dragging a picture in essentially or an SVG or DXF file. Um, really pleased overall from what I've seen up to yet. I have looked at the, uh, the nozzle of the actual, uh, sorry, the lens inside the inside the torch and it looks spotless still despite having some pretty unsuccessful cuts. I haven't tried anything yet. I've got my wire feeder here. Machine pretty uh, pretty rough. Need to sort out the workshop really to give it a bit more room. I'm keen next. I bought this bit of box home. No, this is a, this is a home shop. Brought this home from work to potentially try the cleaning, but I think I'm a bit late tonight, so I might do that tomorrow. Just want to try the cleaning on the laser, because um, that looks interesting. So, yeah, that's it. Oh, this was yesterday, aluminium cutting. So that was the first part I cut, actually. Recommended machine settings, scabby bit of aluminium. Come out more or less perfect. Really good.